I'm Karen Elgersma at the Ridge Theater at Claremont Secondary, enjoying a rehearsal of fame. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, the most fun you can have watching theater on two wheels. Yoga that really gets you moving. And the rich wildlife of Saturna Island. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island, the show that tells you about all the cool things happening in town, great profiles, great stories, and today is no different than any other day. We are here to tell you about an exciting play, Fame, that will be here at the Ridge Theatre at Claremont. We are here with Tara, the director of the play. Now, this is a very unique way of putting on a musical theatre production, Tara. First of all, tell us who you guys are and what, you, what the vision is behind this particular production. Great. Well, we are Victoria Youth Musical Theatre, and we run classes year-round, as well as we do several summer camps um, over the summer. This one is our two-week program, where we put together in two weeks a major musical. Last year we did Les Mis, and this year we are doing Fame. Now, just for people who don't act to understand how crazy this is, and really a miracle, how long does it normally take uh, a production company to put together a musical theatre production? Well, for a professional company, it would be uh, two to three weeks for eight hours a day um, for six days a week. We're doing something similar to that. We do, uh, for two weeks, we do six days a week. Uh, from 9 to 4 p.m. every day. Wow. Mm -hmm. And for you to watch these young people come here um, and go from here to here in 10 days, what is that, you know, are you in awe? Are they doing a good job? It's amazing. They're doing an amazing job this year. Um, there's Last year there was no choreography. This year I've thrown so much at them. Some of them are dancers, some of them aren't, so it's been a challenge for some and for some they're just eating it up. It's been great. I know what you're thinking. You want to see a little scene. So we're going to show you a little scene from Fame, the musical, right now. I love the music of this musical theater production. I uh, watched Fame religiously every Thursday night on CFRN in Edmonton growing up. <laughs> I watched repeats, I loved that show, and of course the musical was what inspired it, but the musical itself, it's timeless, isn't it? It really is. You know, I watched, I, like you, I grew up watching the the TV show, I loved the movie, loved the music. Now the musical is a little different. The musical actually was inspired by the movie. So, which is the opposite of usually the usually way it happens, yeah. E exactly. Um, so they actually make reference to the movie in the musical. Fun. Yeah, so there's some different songs. Um, as you see, uh, there was Fame. Yeah, um, but that's have to have the Fame. Of course, but that's combined with another song as well. We're going to show you uh, another scene in just a moment and continue to uh, meet some of the actors, the, the performers who've given up their summer holidays to entertain you. Uh, but first, have you ever heard of Theatre Scam? I have. Have you ever gone on the bicycle theater scam tour i have it is so much fun it is so it's just so original it's so different our very own meg cuthbert our intern will show you just a little sneak peek of, of what that fun is all about we are here at the ridge theater at claremont secondary school and school is out for most students but not for these talented young people around me because they have given up the first two weeks of this summer to be part of a musical theater production fame. Uh, they've had to commit many hours every day to be here, dance, sing, act. Why? So that you can come out and enjoy them. And I'm going to introduce you to a few of them. Uh, standing next to me right here, what's your name? Kate. Kate. Why did you decide to give up, you crazy girl, the first two weeks of your summer to be part of this? Um, well, I did a show with a few IMTC um, in June. That's Victoria Youth Musical Theatre production, right? Yeah. Okay. Long um, acronym. Yes, okay. And it was so much fun, and I actually saw the summer program show last year as well. And you thought I got to be part of yeah, that. Yeah. What do you love the most? The singing, the dancing, the acting, or hanging out with with all these incredibly talented people, or meeting uh, me? <laughs> um, 
People are pretty great. Yeah. People are pretty great. That's, um, a, that's what I love about theater. It's the community, isn't it? Yeah. But that community is infectious. When you come and see the play, you'll see it. Now, this is my nephew over here, Dale, who I love very much. <laughs> it's fun watching you on stage, Dale, because I don't get to see that very often. What's for you, what's been the best part? Um, oh, I don't know. It's all awesome. Taryn and Phil have just done such a good job with this. So I, I think I'd have to say my favorite song would probably be uh, Bring On Tomorrow awesome song. Oh cool and what people have to remember is this is the musical theater fame it's not the movie so it's different music which I kind of like because then people yeah. will be surprised they'll see something they've never seen yeah. before because I bet a lot of people haven't seen the musical theater. Now you are from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania what do, what are you doing here in Victoria? Uh, for the summer I decided well my family decided to come here. Because and why did you decide to give up the first two weeks of your summer here in Victoria to do this? Well, it was, it sounded fun and I heard a lot about the company and I just wanted to uh, try it out and then it's really fun, yeah. Yeah? And what do you think of Victoria people? Are these people nice? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And where are you from? I'm from Dubai. Dubai! How'd you get up, get to Victoria? My mom and my dad are from Vancouver Island, so we come back home for the summer and the winter. And what made you decide to give up some of your summer to do this? Um, well, it's what I love doing and it's with my best friends, so. Cool. Why not? <laughs> well, you look amazing up there. We're going to meet a few more of the cast and show you another scene. Um, it's kind of like the quintessential fame scene, so you're going to have to stick around. Uh, but first, yoga. It's meant to be grounding and help you sort of find your center. But for some, it might be a little too slow. But there is a yoga in Shanigan Lake that will literally get you moving. I'll let Suchetta sing, explain. Acro yoga, now that I can sink my teeth into. I have to try that because I, I don't know, I've tried yoga once and I, have you ever tried yoga? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it? Mm. I found it a little slow for me, but that looked like fun. Uh, you know what else looks like fun? Watching you perform. You are unbelievable. Um, what's your name? Claudia. Claudia, what made you decide to be part of this musical theater production? Uh, I've done two shows with VOMTC before. My first one was last summer and it was so much fun. I just had to do it again. Absolutely. What's been the best part for you? Um, meeting new people and just learning all the songs and it's just a really great experience overall. And look at you, the lead, singing some solos. One of the leads. One of the leads. What's it been like for you? It's been a great experience. This is my first show with this company, and it's been so much better than I thought it would be. I heard from a lot of people, and it's really great. <laughs> I had good expectations, <laughs> but it's really been a great experience so far. Absolutely. I'm going to show you a little sneak peek uh, so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is great stuff. <laughs> When you watch those young people perform, don't you just want to sing and dance and act? I do. It's really hard for me not to do, come to the bar and do first position, second, third, fourth. Okay, I'll stop. But I just want to dance and sing. Has it been a lot of fun? Totally. Really? Um, did you know about fame? Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the TV show? When I first found out that they were doing fame, I had no idea what it was, but then I did my research and watched the movie. and. No idea what it was. I didn't. How about you? Had, did you know anything about fame? No, I watched the new movie from 2010, but um, I'm just so glad I joined and I've just had such a great time here. You guys are amazing. We're going to show you a little bit more of what these guys have up their sleeve. Um, but we have to take a really small, itty bitty break, but stay with us because when we come back, more fame. Welcome back to Go Island. We're here at the Ridge Theatre with the Victoria Youth Theatre Musical, Musical theater People. Company. It's such a long name, I can never remember. Uh, we're here with Jonathan and Chelsea, uh, two dancers who are going to strut their stuff. Uh, for you, Jonathan, being part of the Musical Theatre production of Fame, has it been a fun, fun opportunity to strut your dance and stuff? Yeah, it, it's lots of fun to learn all these cool choreographies that, yeah. that our director Tara does. Yeah, 
Tara great. is amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. I went to see her in Singing in the Rain, and I, I, I think I have a woman crush on her now. She's unbelievable. Uh, how about you? Has it, been, has it been fun using the, you know, learning the choreography and being part of this? Because there's some really cool dance numbers. Yeah, for sure. And what's been your favorite favorite number? Do you have a favorite dance number? Um, I think Fame, because we get to do all the, like, Spanish salsa dancing. Oh, yeah. It's cool the way you use Spanish and English in that. Yeah. Have you learned any Spanish? Um, sort of. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I can see. Say it. Okay, well, we're going to show you a little bit of that Spanish number in just a moment. But first, Saturna Island. It is one of the most beautiful of the South Gulf Islands, and it has incredible wilderness. And Parks Canada is making it easier for you to experience it. Jen Moranitz explains. Parks Canada actually owns two-thirds of Saturna Island. So you know what that means? That means you have rec property. You own two-thirds of Saturna Island. So get out there and enjoy the island that you own. We're here at uh, the Ridge Theatre, at Claremont Secondary, and school might be out, but it is not for these young, talented actors and performers. And what's your name? Hilika. Hilika, what a cool name. <laughs> um, you have done uh, many of these musical theatre. Yeah. I don't want to call them camps. They're more like experiences. Why do you keep Keep coming back. They're so much fun. Like I love being on stage. When I'm like on stage, I don't want to get off of it. It's so great. I so get what you're saying. I'm the same. <laughs> and how about you? What do you love the most about being part of it? Because how many years have you done it? Five years. Five years. Because you're giving up a lot of your summer to yeah. be here. But it's just it's just doing what I love, and I love performing, so it just works out. Okay, here's the million dollar question: Why should everybody give up their summer night or their summer afternoon to come and see you? You're, the, it opens Thursday night. There'll be a production Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday night. You have to come. It's extraordinary. Why should they come? Because just like how fun it is and like just like all the songs are so like catchy and like they are everything. It's, it's a great night yeah. out. How, why, why should people come? Because we're just awesome and you should come. <laughs> Good answer. I agree. Uh, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, this edition of The Breakdown is all about the Greens. You know James Green, our British reporter, while well, his mom and dad are in town. I am telling you, this has to be one of the best breakdowns ever. I know you're thinking, how do I get tickets? Well, we're going to tell you in just a moment. But first, I've got five talented actors behind me. And uh, it's kind of fun to be the minority, especially when you're a guy. What's it been fun? Has it been fun to be part of this production as one of the only guys? Well, yeah. Um, it pretty much guarantees you a role. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. Uh, how, and what role do you play, Dale? Uh, I play Joe Vegas. Ooh, that's an excellent name. Are you? What's your What's your genre? Like an actor, a singer? A... Uh, I'm an actor in it. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And what role do you play? I play Nick Piazza. And what What are you? I'm an actor as well. Okay. And you? I play Shlomo Metzenbaum, and I'm the musician or um, a musician. Those are great names. And you, Jonathan? I'm Jack Kiyakowski. Ah. Yes. I'm a Russian dancer. Of course you are. Uh, okay, so tell us, if they want tickets, how do they get them and when does the play open? Well... He's a Russian dancer, he doesn't know. Let me help you, Russian dancer. The play opens Thursday night. Oh, yes. Thursday night? That's the 11th, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. It's 7.30, <laughs> and it's also playing? Um, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's matinees on Saturday and Sunday. Awesome, and if people want tickets, how do they get them? Uh, they can come buy them at the door for $12. No! That's a steal, $12, that's amazing. You can't even get a coffee for that. Okay, well maybe you can. And, uh, and if people want more information, is there a website they can uh, go to? Yeah, Victoria Youth uh, Musical Theater Company, uh, vymtc.com, um, and you can get Phil's number there. Excellent, and why should everyone come to the play? Because it's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you all so much. It's been such a blast hanging out with you. I wish I could do the camp. Although it's probably a good thing I don't because I'm a terrible singer. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts for us, you know where to find us. Twitter, Facebook, our website, our emails. And guess what? If you see us around town, it's your job to come up to us and say hello. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Men's Wardrobe by DG Brenner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J.